Welcome back. Today I bring you 10 easy, everyday half updos for short hair. Basically for all of these hairstyles, you will need some type of elastics, some texture spray if you need it, some hairspray, and then maybe some bobby pins here and there. All right, my hair lovers, the first one is going to be a twist and like a little tiny ponytail in the back with kind of twists going into the ponytail. Make sense? I think it will. <laughs> so you might be wondering if you need to have your hair curled for these hairstyles, and the answer is no, you do not. You can use your natural hairstyle. If it's curly, straight, wavy, whatever it is, it will work for any of these. So I'm gonna start off with the center part and I'm gonna start about like two to three inches towards the back of my head into a small ponytail in the back. But I'm not gonna connect the ponytail with all of the hair. I'm just gonna take the hairs from the side. So I'm gonna connect these two sections in the back and tie them off. I'm gonna make a little twisty loop going towards the back of my head and then putting it underneath. Okay, so once I made a little twist and the flip, I'm gonna go back up to this section right here that we put together and I'm gonna take it apart just a little bit to give it a little bit more texture and volume on each side. And then you see like these hairs right here going towards the front. I'm gonna start grabbing smaller sections like these little layers and I'm gonna do a little twist just once and then just bring it towards the back and then bring it through the actual little twist that we have. So I'm gonna keep doing this, just grabbing smaller sections, giving a little twist, adding them into the twist in the back, pulling them through to make sure they're nice and secure, and then just going kind of like around the twist that we did. This just adds a little bit of texture and dimension to the overall twist. So once you're done tucking the little pieces from the side of your head into the actual twist and loop, I'm gonna take some hairspray and give it a quick spritz. I'm gonna go to the front, kind of give my curls a little bit more definition. But overall, that's it, you guys. It is so quick and easy. And these are perfect for every day if you have like five minutes or less in the morning time to get ready. Number two, let's start with a section from the crown and I'm gonna tease this section to give a little bit more volume. I'm gonna start grabbing sections from each side of my middle part and I'm not gonna take the front fringe because first of all, it's too short and I like when it's hanging down when I do have updos. It frames my face. So you see how I'm kind of taking it in diagonal and then I'm gonna take the same size section on the other side. Just clean up along the way. All right, so this is where you want you have your bobby pins handy. So the first section that I took on the left side, I'm gonna take it underneath the right section. Once my right section is on top of the left one, I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm gonna secure it down. Next up, I'm gonna take the same comb that I used to tease and I'm just gonna gently hold the bobby pins and then gently like pull the hair from the top just to give it a little bit more volume. Since my hair is short, I'm doing it very gently. So you can leave this pin up hairstyle just like this without adding anything else to it. Give yourself a quick spritz of hairspray on top to let it set in place. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this cute little hair piece that I found at Orchstrom's. It has some pearls, some little bit jewels, and just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. And there you have it for hairstyle number two. What do you guys think of this one? All right, for numero tres hairstyle, you will need some clear elastics or different elastics for your hair depending on your hair color. So for the first section, I'm gonna start off towards the back of my head, towards the crown. I'm gonna start grabbing a section on each side and then just meeting my fingers in the back to create one big section. So split the ponytail right in half and then take the bottom of the portion of the ponytail and we're gonna loop it towards the front and underneath. I'm gonna tighten it towards my head and then I'm just gonna loosen the sides to give it a little bit more volume. So starting with the second part of this hairstyle, I'm gonna take a section right towards the front, but again, keeping this fringe down because it's too short to take to the back. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Before I do anything else, so you see this hair right here, how it's kind of going around this first section. I'm gonna take this hair and kind of put it on top of this first section, just to give a better transition. Take a clear elastic and then just tie it off. So I'm gonna go back up and just loosen up some of the areas. Go back up to the first one and just give it a little bit more texture as well. The reason why I like this hairstyle is because it looks very intricate and different, but yeah, it's super easy. So style number four is going to be a really high ponytail, obviously half, and then it's gonna have a really big voluminous pompadour in the front. So I'm gonna start off taking a section in the front right here. This will include my fringes. 
I'm gonna take my dry texturizing spray and then take my teasing comb and tease it just a little bit to give it volume. I'm grabbing a section right behind the first one and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So I'm grabbing that section into a high ponytail, just taking my fingers and I'm kind of running it through to give it a little bit more texture and dimension. Take a clear elastic and just tie it as high as you can. Once it's tied off, I'm gonna go back up and create a nice full pompadour right here in the front. All right, just give it a little bit more of an elegance to this hairstyle. I'm gonna take a straight rat tail comb and I'm gonna do it like right at the end of my eyebrow and at a diagonal, I'm gonna take the comb and bring it up to my ponytail to the, li to the parting line. So you see right there? So take this section that we just created and I'm gonna bring it towards the back of the ponytail and I'm gonna wrap it around the clear elastic. So the reason why I add the little pompadour first and then I go in with the side sections to the ponytail is because I can make this very voluminized without it falling apart because this kind of secures the entire hairstyle. That's kind of why I like to do it. So there you have it, my textured high top ponytail. So hairstyle number five, I call it the twisted ladder because it kind of looks like you're climbing the hair. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm gonna start from one side first and I'm gonna grab a section of hair, split it right in half. Starting with the section that's like on the bottom, I'm gonna take it over and do one twist. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the top portion of where we made that part and we're gonna make like a downwards diagonal and create like that V. Once you have that section, just drop that part and just make it into one section. And then do that twist. So start at the top again, make a slight diagonal, going slightly lower this time because we're gonna go a little bit more towards the bottom, and then go back up just a little bit. Drop that section to create a big one, and make a twist. So every time I'm going towards the back, I'm going a little bit lower. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of hair from underneath this part, or this twist and just secure it together, just to kind of hold it down for now. And then go to the other side and repeat exactly what I just did. So I'm gonna let go of the first twist, grab another clear elastic, and then just tie these two together in the back. So you see those little sections that we created? I'm gonna go back up and just kind of loosen them up to create them a little bit bigger. And this will add more dimension and texture. And make sure you hold down the rest of the hairstyle when you do pull it apart. So once you tied off both sections and you pulled apart these little areas where we kind of sectioned it off to create that V, I'm gonna take it and bejewel it. So there you have it for hairstyle number five. It is super textured, very dimensional, and it's very easy and super cute. You guys know I have to add in some braided half updos. <laughs> so I'm gonna split it off right in half, my section, and then I'm gonna take a section. And I'm gonna split this braid right into three. And for this braid, I'm gonna do a French style braid. So a French style braid is where you take this outer sections and you take them over the middle, over the middle. I'm gonna come back down to the bottom I'm gonna start adding hair, and then bring this over the middle. Hold this, grab a section of hair, drop the outer section, and then add it over the middle. And as you can see, I'm going towards the side, going a little bit down, and then I'm kind of helping this middle section guideline of where I'm grabbing the hair from the top. So going behind the ear, and I'm gonna start making my way towards the middle. So once I get to the middle, I'm gonna add the last section, tie it off with a clear elastic. And then just go to the other side and do exactly the same thing. So once both braids are tied off on the back, I'm gonna inner loop them together into one of the braids. I'm gonna secure both of the braids with bobby pins to my scalp. So now I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna loosen the French braid just a little bit just to give it more dimension. So there you have it for hairstyle number six. It's kind of like a half up, half down halo French braid. So this next one I call the bubbled half up, half down hairstyle. Grab my section, take my fingers, and just give it a quick comb through. Take a clear elastic, give it a go once around, twice, and then we're gonna pull almost through, but not really, and then just kind of stretch it out, and then pick up these hairs just a little bit more, give it texture. So next I'm gonna go right below it, and I'm gonna grab a section, I'm going to try to bring this section as close as possible to the first section. Make sure we clean up the sides. Make sure you kind of bring up the hair 
so there's not a crazy hairline transition. Before I tie off the second one, I'm gonna get this first one out of the way and bring it up as high as possible. And for the final third, I'm not gonna start from the very front. I'm gonna start like towards the back, like halfway towards the back. Grab a section and bring it like kind of towards the top at a diagonal and then do exact same thing on the other side. Take some of your mini bobby pins or your regular bobby pins. And we're gonna start from the top. And I'm gonna start a little bit towards the middle, grab these hairs, and kind of loop it around towards the second one, just grabbing some hairs along the way to secure that to the side. And there you have it. This is a super easy way of making a really pretty bubble bun. But it kind of looks like a flower too, doesn't it? Yeah. Super cute. So hairstyle number eight is going to be one of my favorites to wear to the gym. This is a Dutch braid faux hawk. I'm just sectioning it off right now. So I'm just going on the other side as well. Hold this, and then I'm gonna take the rest of the hair. I'm gonna bring it towards the back of my head so I don't touch it at all. Take the hair back, and we're gonna get a section right in the front. Divide into three sections, and we're gonna do a Dutch braid. So a Dutch braid is a reverse French. Starting off on the right side, I'm gonna take this section right here that I'm holding and bring it right underneath. Go do exact same thing on the other outer side, and right underneath. So I'm bringing this outer section over to the other side to my thumb. Hold it there and then you see where we sectioned it off. I'm going to start grabbing hair and bringing this new section. We're bringing it over to the thumb. Let go and you have that new section. Bring the underneath first, the outer section. Hold it. Go over. Bring the new section of hair over. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm first bringing the outer section and then I go over and grab the new section and bring it over to the other side. And just continue braiding until you've reached the crown of your head. I'm gonna grab some hair right underneath the braid so the braid will be pretty down to my scalp. I'm gonna go back up to the braid and just loosen it just where the actual braid is just to give it more dimension. I love this one for those active days. It's textured, it's pretty, it's out of my face. Love it. So for this next one, it's gonna be almost the same one as the Dutch braid that I just did, but instead of braiding, we're gonna do the faux braid. So we're gonna grab the first section and we're gonna tie the section off with a clear elastic. So once you have your first initial section, we're gonna make a second one right behind it. Take another clear elastic and tie the second section off as well. And make sure you try to keep them in the middle. So first what we do is we're gonna split this first section right in half, just like that. And we're gonna bring the second section right over. Take a hair clip and just pin the section away so I don't touch it. Bringing this section that's split in half towards the back. And then I'm gonna get another section right behind it. Take this new section and tie it off with a clear elastic. So we're gonna let this section go. So we're gonna split the section in half. And we're gonna bring this new section we just did right to the front and pin it away. And bring the section towards the back that's gonna be going with the new section. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until I reach the crown of my head. So now I'm just gonna finish this off. I let go of this section on the top and I'm gonna combine these two down below and just tie them off together. So now I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna spread these sections apart. All right, so now that I've pulled apart my faux braid, we're gonna fix this in the back. So I'm gonna take some hair from underneath the little ponytail here, and I'm gonna wrap it around that clear elastic. Take a bobby pin and take the hair right underneath it and secure the actual braid to my head. So this pull-through faux braid is a great alternative for the Dutch braid because you're just pulling your hair through, you're tying it off, you're pulling it through. It is super easy. <laughs> you're golden, it's done. So last but not least, for the half up, half down updos, I'm going to do a more elegant one. So I'm gonna start off with my hair. This section's right here going towards the back of my head, but I'm gonna give them a quick tease to give them a little bit more volume. And once you tease it, it's kind of gonna stay in place where you place it. So I'm not gonna bobby pin it. I'm just gonna keep it towards the back. And I'm gonna start grabbing sections right here from the sides and the front of my head and bringing them towards the back. And we're gonna place them on top of this little section right here. And secure it with the bobby pin. So go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Grab a section, smooth it down, and I'm gonna bring it over on top of the other side, creating like that crisscross effect. And then secure on the other side with the bobby pin as well. Take some hairspray and quickly give it a quick spritz. So what do you guys think of this crisscross, half up, half down look? I think it's super cute. It's very easy 
It's very elegant, sophisticated, and you can wear it to a lot of places. So there you guys have it. We made it to the very end. Those are my 10 everyday, super easy, half up, half down looks for your short hair. And of course, thank you so much for watching this video, spending some time with us. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But for now, I will say my goodbyes and I'll see you next time. Bye.